Hey everybody, just wanted to quickly walk you through uploading your guest list. So first first off, I want to show you kind of a sample guest list. And you'll see we have in the header column, first name, last name, company, email, guest count, notes, phone number. You can also put in um, more fields in here. So we actually have four fields uh, open in addition to email, phone number, and guest count. So you could put uh, custom field 2, custom field 3, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but for the meantime, this is probably what most people um, put in. Now, for the first name, last name, and company name, this is what's going to show on the front screen of the app. It's actually something new to our new build, and let me just show you what that looks like. So this is kind of a screenshot of the front page, and you'll see it has first name, last name, and this is actually custom field 1. So I've mapped the company name into custom field 1, which is what we're going to do here. So this all looks good when you're ready. You just do file. I usually like to do save as Excel 97 2003. And you could save that. Or you can do file, save as other formats, and save it as a comma delimited CSV file. You could save that. So I already have that thing saved in there. So now we'll go back here, and you'll go choose file. There it is. Does this file have column headers? So Remember, these are column headers. Um, if your file doesn't have this, um, you know, you're fine. But this one does, so we'll just do that. The other thing I actually wanted to note is, you know, I see a lot of, sometimes people have trouble because they put a total at the bottom here. And they, they add this up. So if you do this, this is going to throw off your accounts, and it's going to add in eight blank records. So definitely delete the total. Um, any totals that you have. That's just one little trick. So now that we have that in there, we have that saved. This is file of column headers. Yes. I'm going to click upload. And there we go. So this is the information we uploaded. Looks perfect. And now we're going to map it. So it's going to try and looking at these header columns and it's going to try and map them to our header columns. So it says first name. Oh, I'll map it to first name, last name, last name, company. Well, you know what? I want that on custom field one and you'll know the field that says this field will display on the front screen along with first name and last name like we mentioned before here so this is custom field one and then email address I'll link that to email guest count to guest count notes to notes phone number to phone number now you'll also know in here you'll see it says custom field one custom field two and three so where does that information show that actually shows if you click this little I Neck on the home screen of your app, it will take you to, and this is just a screenshot I have, obviously the information is more on top here, but I wanted to show you this custom field 1, 2, 3, and notes. So your other information will show here, so when people are checking in guests, if they need more information about that guest, they can just click that, and it will take them to this second screen uh, with more information. So we have that. We're going to hit continue. Okay, so now it says, please scroll down and confirm your list. Once your list is confirmed, your total guests available in your account will be reduced. So as soon as you upload a list, your total check-ins left is going to come down. Um, so just make sure this is the final list you want uh, before uploading and continuing. So that's just something to note. If you want to always add more guests, you can always add more. Um, and if for some reason you made a mistake, you can delete the guests, but um, it does uh, check off on your check-ins. So this, everything looks good. I'm going to confirm. Oh, also, before I continue, do you see where it says Judy Jones and I have a guest count as two? So because I don't know Judy Jones's guest name, um, it's going to actually create two records for Judy Jones. That way, Judy can come in separately than her guest. So her guest, when her guest comes, she'll say, I'm a guest of Judy Jones. And when we see it on the iPad, it'll show to Judy Jones. And then you know, when Judy comes, you can check her in separately. So that's done. We're going to hit Confirm. OK, that's in there. And you are all set. So a couple things I want to review here. So now this is their unique ID. So when you're on the iPad, um, you can log in with a username and password, or you can log in with a unique ID. So when you go to that home screen, it says username and password, and then underneath it, it says login, and then underneath that, it says custodian. If you hit custodian, you can put this unique ID in, and that way you can give your iPads out to you know, maybe people, your assistants, or maybe hired people, and they want to have access to your whole all your guest list, but just this one event. So this is what you want to use this unique ID for. 
Now in here, if you we have a cool feature where you can get notified when a certain guest checks in. So let's say you want to get an email when Jeremy Katz checks in. See under this email column, you'll just click this checkbox uh, under that Jeremy Katz account and it will change it to there it is, yes. And same thing for a text message. The text message will only work if the people are checking in with an iPhone, uh, but the email will work for both. And that is how you upload guests. Um, just to give you a sense, that's what will look like. That's what it'll look like. And if you want to send the boarding pass, kind of this boarding pass feature, um, you'll have to have obviously email addresses in there for all your guests. And you just click boarding pass. This is obviously a, an optional feature. You don't have to use it. And you can put in the subject line. So you can put this is your ticket to the event on Thursday. And you can put a message in for your guests. So let me show you what kind of an email will look like. So this is what an email will look like. It says thanks for your RSVP to the event, information about it. And then you can put any information you want in there. And in addition, obviously, it has the PDF ticket attached. That's what that looks like. People can just print this out or show it on their smartphone. And you can check guests in uh, right on the app. It has a scanner. But here, we'll just put this is sample text. And then you just click Submit. But um, otherwise, you are all set. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email us, uh, info at checkineasy.com, or email me directly, justin at checkineasy.com. Uh, we do check all the emails and we answer promptly. So if you have ever any trouble, um, feel free to reach out to us and you can always call us as well. But that's how you do it. Um, have a great day. Bye.